Hey everyone, so I'm just going to talk briefly about what the Fire Toolbox is and what most people use it for in this video. Uh, but first, in order to get Fire Toolbox, you have to have a Windows PC. It does not work with Mac, uh, sadly enough. And then you have to go into your settings here, go down, hit device options uh, on your Fire device, of course. Hit your About Fire tablet. Uh, there'll be a serial number you have. I'm not showing mine off, of course. Uh, tap you to tap, tap, tap that serial number a whole bunch of times uh, until on the bottom of the screen, somewhere down here-ish, it'll say something like developer options are enabled. Uh, yeah, so just keep on tapping that serial number to see developer options enabled. Uh, click back to be onto this display, this uh, screen. We will now hit developer options here. Uh, make sure you turn it on. Scroll down, uh, and then hit USB debugging. You do not do those things, it will not work. Uh, and then one of the big reasons why people use the Fire Toolbox is to download the Google Play Store, which on devices with Fire OS 8 is still not working. Uh, sadly enough, it's still not working if you have a device with Fire OS 8. Devices with Fire OS 8 as of right now are going to be the 2022 Fire 7, like I'm using here, and then the 2022 Fire HD 8, HD 8 Plus. Uh, if you have older models, this should work. Uh, or otherwise, you can just download APKs off the uh, off the internet. But again, as of right now, though, anything with Fire OS 8, you cannot get the Google Play Store to work correctly. Uh, it just it, it downloads, but you cannot get into it. All right, then when you're in Fire Toolbox, uh, there's a bunch of things you can do. Again, people download Google. Uh, Play Store, which would be from the Google services here, uh, which is how I downloaded mine. It still does not work, as I keep saying. Uh, then you can also uninstall it here as well. If you go, get rid of this, uh, do download Netflix and Disney Plus, which I believe are both on the Amazon App Store anyway. Uh, you can download or use custom launchers you can also download other ones but there is nova launcher uh, niagara microsoft launcher and eevee if you want or you can just stick with your amazon one uh, if you want uh this thing pops up every single time you can get rid of or disable your amazon apps which i'm showing it off on here uh it comes with a crazy amount of these apps you can disable ones if you want to. You then can, and I do not recommend this. I'm not saying I recommend this. Uh, so Amazon, do not hunt me down for this. Uh, but you can remove lock screen apps. Again, I'm not doing it. I like the lock screen apps. Uh, normally, you would either buy the version with the screen lock screen apps or pay, I think it's extra 20 bucks to get a version without them. With this, you can get just get rid of them. Again, I'm not doing that, uh, but you can do it. Again, I like the ads. Sometimes they show some good stuff. Uh, then, besides from that, uh, those are the main things people are going to be doing, though. Are downloading Google Play Store if it works for your device. Uh, again, launchers, getting rid of the ads, uh, and then modifying what Amazon apps are on there. You do have some other stuff, though. You can sideload apps, uh, different power options. Uh, which will basically just let you kill your device or turn off your device not kill it, but turn it off um, You can do backups uh, Screen capturing which if you have a fire OS 8 device uh, You can actually do that now on the, the device itself uh, But there's a whole bunch of stuff But again, this is not an in-depth uh, Review of fire toolbox. It's just what most people do so that's about it for those that were, were wondering, because I know I was for the longest time. Uh, I actually went out and bought this Asus laptop, uh, budget laptop, just for this Fire Toolbox to see what it was. Uh, this is a, well, on sale, it was 150 bucks, and it works very well with the toolbox. Um, yeah. Thank you all for watching. As always, I really do, really do appreciate you. I hope you have a good one. See you all next time. Goodbye.